everyone, Michelle here, and welcome to Psych for Psych. Today we're going to talk about altered states of consciousness, specifically sleep in the sleep cycle and sleep disorders. Let's start with the sleep cycle. The sleep cycle has five stages that are classified as either non-REM sleep or REM sleep. REM meaning rapid eye movement. The first four stages make up non-REM sleep. The first stage of sleep is where you can easily be awoken, but you're in a very hallucinatory and relaxed state. This typically lasts about five minutes. Then comes the second stage of sleep. This is often the light sleep where you move a little bit deeper, but you're not in a full deep sleep yet. Your body begins to relax, slowing down your heart rate and your breathing. During this stage, your brainwaves release sleep spindles, which are periodic bursts of brain activity. The brainwaves during this stage are known as alpha waves, are active and alert as if you were awake. However, your body is in a relaxed state. This typically lasts 10 to 25 minutes. The third and fourth stages of sleep are linked. This is when you go into a deep sleep. Your brainwaves are known as delta waves during this period and are slow and have high amplitude. This is the stage when sleepwalking or sleep talking occur. I think it's actually kind of interesting because people who are deaf have been known to sign in their sleep. Next comes the second half of sleep, known as REM sleep. Again, rapid eye movement. This is classified by the rapid eye movements of your eyes, basically. Um, also during this stage, your body is practically paralyzed. Your heartbeat and breathing increase, or your breathing gets shallow. This is the part where memories are formed and are stored within the brain. As images from your day are being processed, your brain captures snapshots and creates a dream, an interpretation of what has happened during that day. For example, say I was at work with Carol today, and then later went to a bookstore and saw an employee vacuuming the floors. I might have a weird dream that I saw Carol at the bookstore vacuuming. Yes, this context is not related, however I linked both of those memories with work. So these stages move back and forth between the typical 90 minute cycle. But what's interesting is if you are suffering from sleep deprivation, your body goes into a state known as REM rebound, where you start to make up REM sleep, which is the refreshing and rejuvenating and rebuilding aspects of sleep. It lengthens the REM sleep and shortens the non-REM sleep until your body is properly functioning again. Now let's take a look at the most common sleep disorders, including sleep apnea, narcolepsy, and night terrors, and insomnia. Sleep apnea means you have trouble breathing and typically lasts for about a minute. Sleep apnea is associated with obesity because high blood pressure is a factor of the disease. Narcolepsy typically lasts for less than five minutes. This is when your body moves from being fully awake and functioning into a deep stage of sleep within seconds. It can happen anywhere, from in your kitchen, to the grocery store, to during the AP exam. Next are night terrors. These are most apparent in children, where they will have serious nightmares accompanied by heavy breathing and rapid heartbeats. These nightmares lead the children into such a state of fear that they may scream out in the night, yet when awoken, have absolutely no memory of what happened. The last common sleep disorder is insomnia. Insomnia is the inability to sleep, most commonly associated with anxiety. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out the other videos and stay posted for the next video on altered states of consciousness. Bye!